is up guys and girls I am currently leaving the gym and we're gonna have a serious talk so yeah like I said we're gonna have a serious discussion today about things that bikers do that I can't say I hate but they really annoy me and if you follow me on Instagram or you know you watch my videos regularly you can probably tell that I don't ride with a lot of people and that's because most people in the world annoy the piss out of me unfortunately there's a lot of stupid people in the world and uh, yeah they annoy me so I don't I've kind of learned like when I was younger when I was in high school I used to be the type of kid who I would hang out with like the preps the jocks the gothic kids the scene kids the music kids pretty much anybody I would hang out with you know as long as I liked them and for the most part there wasn't really much about people that I didn't like back then probably because I was young and dumb but um, the older I get the more I realize that the less friends I have the more true friends I really have and that's because you know I've met a lot of people through YouTube um, and I've made a lot of really good friends through YouTube and uh, even Instagram um, but the thing is is um, look I need gas blinky um, so yeah we'll stop for gas up here soon so um, yeah I've learned the less friends I have the more true friends I have and I kind of learned the hard way back in the day that just having a ton of friends doesn't really mean you have true friends <laughs> so I kind of when I moved to Florida I kind of pushed myself away from all of those people except for like a few that I really did enjoy being around and having a good time with and whatnot let me see if I can switch lanes here hopefully nobody rear ends me so that would really ruin my day um, so yeah there's a lot of things that bikers do um, that annoy me and a lot of most of my friends are bikers um, and you know I've met a lot of people through YouTube like I said I probably met like I don't know over a hundred people through YouTube and um, Instagram and I don't ride with those hundred people still because a lot of them ride stupid they put me in danger put other people around me in danger so I would just would never speak to them again I mean I didn't like cut totally cut them off but um, I wouldn't go out of my way to talk to them if they talk to me sure I'll have a chit chat conversation um, but I'm kind of selective about the people I hang out with in my life and uh, that's because I don't need drama I don't need trouble and a lot of <laughs> stupid people bring stupid drama and stupid problems and trouble so yeah a lot of things that bikers do just in general that annoy me so okay for one thing just let's just get this out of the way the word squid the word squid just uh, annoys me like when I hear somebody like legitimately call somebody else a squid I automatically assume to myself they're that squid that I have in my mind because to me in my mind uh, squid is like it's like a funny word that like I'll joke around with my friends and be like ah oh, you fucking squid like jokingly I don't literally ever call somebody a legit squid like I don't care if you're riding with flip-flops on a tank top shorts it doesn't matter you can ride around naked I don't really care I mean it'd be pretty funny to see somebody riding around naked honestly but um, I don't care what people do with their life okay if you're black gay Chinese I don't give a fuck as long as you're a good person I will like you chances are um, yeah so the word squid like to me the people that use that word like as an actual like derogatory term are the kind of people that I do not like <laughs> it's just it's just a stupid word and it's like basically saying somebody like socks they can't ride they don't dress appropriately like I've seen people wearing like blue jean shorts or blue jean pants should I say calling other people squids like obviously 
you're not wearing full gear so you technically are what you're calling that other person it's so stupid though but like I don't even care like you can squid you can do whatever the fuck you want I don't really give a shit as long as it doesn't put me in harm I don't really care you know I think yeah I don't think it's the smartest thing you know I ride around without a shirt on to the gym and stuff like that but I'm mean, not without a shirt on but without my jacket on um, I don't think I've ever rode without a shirt on. Um, but yeah, um, basically what it all boils down to is everybody's different. Everybody has a different opinion of what they should be riding, what they should be wearing. Some people will only wear full leathers. Um, other people will just wear flip-flops and a tank top. And uh, like I say, I don't really give a fuck what you do. Um, as long as it doesn't interfere with my safety or my life, I don't really care. This is the only part I hate about riding to the gym, is like everything's in my fucking backpack. I don't trust things in my shorts, they'll probably fall out. What's that? That's a 750. Yeah. What's it? Yeah, 2015. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Yep. <laughs> that dude was cool. But, um,. Yeah, what was I saying? The word squid, yeah, that word pisses me off. It's kind of stupid. No, it doesn't really piss me off. It just kind of annoys me because it's like a stupid term. But, uh, yeah, other things that piss me off is like when people will, like, they'll argue, like, brand loyalty. Oh, okay, this is, the, like, the dumbest one right here. People will be like, just because they own like a Suzuki or they own like a, a Honda or a Kawasaki, they'll be like, oh man, I'll never own a, a Yamaha. I'll never own a, a Ducati, man. Fuck a Ducati. <laughs> I sound like Psycho Cruiser. But uh, it's so stupid because like if you if you really open your mind to all the different bikes, you might find that a different bike will fit you in your riding style a lot better like you know um when i had my old 650 I, I wanted a 1000 i got the ninja 1000 i loved it and it was powerful com way powerful compared to my um old 650 and then i realized how heavy it was when i rode other people's bikes like if i rode a 600 or even like uh i rode the old um i think it was uh 2006 or something like that r1 and i was like dude this bike is it's more powerful it's um a lot more torque and um it uh it's way lighter so I was like, man, I want, I want something like this, you know. So, so that was when the decision came to uh, sell my um, 1000, my Ninja 1000, and get something lighter and um, easier to flick around, but still have that power from the Ninja 1000. So that's why I ended up with the 750. Which, yeah, like a lot of people argue, I'm, I lost a couple of horsepower or whatever, but um, it's not the same, you know what I mean? I did not even see that guy. Motorcycle cop. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's probably got like a turbo... <laughs> turbo Harley. That thing will break before he even catches me. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. I would never run. But, um, yeah, things that annoy me. Like, brand loyalty to me is just kind of stupid because, um, you know, I've had, you know, obviously I've stated before, I've had like four Kawasaki's, three Hondas, I've never had a Yamaha, but I've ridden quite a few Yamahas, the R6, um, the FZ9, um, ridden quite a few Yamahas, and, uh, I, I like all bikes, to be honest, like, I don't, honestly, I don't really like cruisers, um, just because I've, I've been there, I've ha done that, I've had the cruisers, they're fun, you know, if I had the money, maybe I'd, I'd have another bike and it would be a cruiser just for like 
you know, cruising around the beach and stuff, but um, brand loyalty to me is just kind of stupid because I realize like a lot of people do not like Suzuki and I'm okay with that. I don't really care, but a lot of people will be like, oh, uh, uh, Suzuki will never outlast a Honda or a, a Kawasaki. And um, I've literally seen people hitting like 200, 250,000 miles on Suzuki's. And I've also seen that on the Hondas. I've seen that on uh, Kawasaki's. Uh, I don't know per se that I've seen that on um, Yamaha's, but um, I'm sure it's happened. And it, maybe it's just not reported or whatever, but uh, I'm sure it's happened, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's just brand loyalty to, to me is usually what brand loyalty comes from is from people that haven't been riding much yet and um, they're just just now learning like what they like and that's okay you know but the thing is if you're gonna ride like your whole life say like if you're gonna ride like say if you're you know in your 20s or maybe you're younger than that maybe you're 30 but if you get into biking it's probably gonna be something that you like and enjoy and it, you're gonna stay with it for a long time uh, so to tell me that you're only gonna ride like a Suzuki for the rest of your life you're just obvious you're like cutting yourself off from so much potential out there from other bikes that may fit you better something you might enjoy more so that's another thing I hate about bikers um, it's just it's just stupid to me because like I say there's so much more out there that other bikes can offer and it's just, you know, you gotta test the waters, at least. So, um, what's other things? Okay, there's another thing that annoys me. This is, like, this is my top three things that annoy me, right? Squids, brand loyalty, and, um, like, zero to 60 times, and zero to 100 times, like, People will literally buy like a Yamaha, or say like not a Yamaha or one. Uh, just say like a say like a S1000, and they'll be like, "Well, dude, my bike goes zero to sixty in 2.3 seconds," and I'm like, "Yeah, you know, with a professional fucking rider." Okay, just because you have a, a S1000 doesn't mean you can beat somebody who has like, say a. A ZX10 or something like that because the thing is, is it's all about skill it's not about the what the professional rider did like a, a professional rider that did a 0 to 60 on a Suzuki 600 or one that did it one on a BMW S1000 that's that person's skill level what that bike is capable of with a professional rider does not mean that just because you bought that bike and you read that it could do zero to 60 in two and a half seconds doesn't mean you're gonna be able to do that it's just like I don't know it's just it's really annoying to me because people will claim like their bikes faster or this and that does just because your bikes faster doesn't mean you're faster okay so um, yeah that's the, the third thing that really annoys me about bikers so I'm gonna end this vlog with a wheelie why not, right? Woo, that was fun. I'll take you for a ride real quick. And people say there's no corners in Florida. <laughs> Alright guys, you heard me rant for long enough. I'm out. Take it easy. <laughs>